Hey guys, so I am going to do the Mommy 2.0 tag. Um, some of these questions aren't quite relevant to me yet as I only have a small baby. Um, but so some of them may be um, answered as like futur futuristic, like what we plan to do. Um, but I'm going to answer them the best that I can. And then I may do this tag again once, you know, they're older. Who knows? Anyways, um, there are I think 20 questions. Um, so here is the first one. How many children do you have and how old are they? I have one and he is five and a half months old. Number two, what is your proudest moment as a mom um, of your child slash children? Right now, um, <laughs> probably seeing him finally born. <laughs> um, he was a stubborn little guy and he did not want to come out. So finally just seeing him you know, um, he hasn't, other than that, maybe some of his first, like, finally rolling over, you know, trying so hard to accomplish that and then getting there and being so proud of himself, you know, probably something like that. Um, but he hasn't had too many, you know, like, being nice to his friends or whatever, you know. Um, anyways, number three, what is your most frustrating moment as a mom? With him being so little, the fact that he is so dependent, um, which is obviously going to happen when you have a baby um, but those are the times that get frustrating when I'm in the middle of something and he wakes up from his nap and just demands that I you know get him right then um, just stuff like that it's you know it's no longer you it's you know your baby is priority um, so those are the things that that get frustrating as of now um, number four how do you discipline your child slash children um, right now, I would just say, you know, um, the only really thing that we are, it's not even a discipline, but starting to say no, like when he grabs the cat, um, just to, you know, start, uh, instilling that in him. Um, but eventually, um, would be timeout and if needed spanking. Um. Number five, cursing, do you do it in front of your child? Neither my husband nor I curse, so no, uh, we do not, and I don't think it's okay. Um, number six, do you think your relationship with your spouse has changed since you had children, better or worse? Um, it hasn't It hasn't really changed. Um, things in our life has changed, and so because of the different things, you know, there's less stress, and so... Um, Things have gotten better, but it's not necessarily because we have a kid. Um, but for us, I mean, it really hasn't made our relationship more challenging too much, except for, like, uh, me learning to understand that, you know, he works and he needs his sleep and he can't always help me out with the baby. And for him to understand that just because he works, I still need help sometimes with the baby. You know, so that kind of thing has um, definitely taken some getting used to and some compromise and stuff like that. But we really, um, it hasn't changed too much. But if it has, I would say for the better. Um, seven, since becoming a mom, do you notice you you act more like your own mother. Not yet, um, but I'm sure I will, and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Um, you know, my mom says all the other sayings that every other mom does, you know, because I said so, or, oh gosh, what are all those other mom sayings, <laughs> you know? Because um, I'm your mom. <laughs> um, or would, if, if Johnny jumped off a bridge, would you do it? <laughs> so I'm sure I'm going to do all of those things. Um, and I already tell David, my husband, I'm like, you know, one day he's going to be like, you're ruining my life. And, or, you know, just, oh gosh, I can think of the things that I said to my mom at different times. And I'm like, he's going to say that to us and we're going to have to, you know, deal with it. And we're going to understand why our parents went through what they went through. And, you know, so I am sure at some point I am going to remind myself of my mom. Number eight, how are your relationships with your girlfriends? Um, fine. I recently, well, not recently, when I got married, I moved, and a lot of the friends I had back home, um, you know, we talk every now and then, but obviously we don't hang out. And, um, the friends that I made here, thankfully, um, pretty much all of them have, well, no, all of them, I think all of them have kids. 
Um, so it's been great, you know, and all of them have little kids. So it's, um, I'm looking forward to being, our kids being able to interact and everything. So um, I would say they've gotten better since I've had kids. Um, because now we have, you know, for one, more in common because before it was, I was the one without kids and most of my friends had kids. Um, when I first moved here, my friends back home don't have kids. But, um, so it's gotten better now that we have more things to relate on. Number nine, your favorite place to take your child slash children. Um, I don't have one right now. Actually, my favorite place to take my child right now is staying home because it's just difficult to take him. But I'm sure it will be, um, well, I like taking him to church, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be the park. Um, or, you know, just another friend's house to play with their kids. Um, your least, number 10, your least favorite place to take your children slash child to the grocery store, which I'm sure is a lot of mom's answers. Um, number 11, piercing baby's ears, do or don't. I'm not really sure on this one. I have a boy, so it's not an issue. But when I have a girl, um, I have mixed feelings, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. Number 12, favorite skincare for you and your child slash children. Um... My kids don't have skincare right now, or my baby. Um, but uh, skincare would be Velocity by Mary Kay, but I actually use Clean and Clear right now. Um, number 13, must have mommy makeup item. Baby lips, it's fantastic. Tinted chapstick, so it's easy for on the go, and you can still have a little color. Um, 14, bath or shower for you and your child slash children. Um, I love taking baths, but every time I take a bath, I take a shower afterwards. I take a bath just for the relaxation purpose of it. Um, and right now my baby is bathed because he just is. But once he gets older, I'll probably still have him in the bath. Um, and But yeah, I generally take showers. I just take baths every now and then. Um, number 15, are you back to your pre-baby weight? Yes, but if I'm not careful, I'm going to start going up because I my cravings never left and uh, yeah, I, I don't know with nursing, I'm still hungry all the time and it's I need to, yeah, anyways. Um, number 16, college dreams. Do you expect your kids to go to college or would you let them decide for themselves? I really don't care. Um, I went to college several, I went to several different colleges. I went for several different things. I've never actually gotten a degree. Um, but I've spent enough years in college to have gotten a degree if I wouldn't have changed my major so many times. Um, but I really, it doesn't bother me whatever they decide to do. Um... You know, hopefully they do have goals and dreams and do do something that they enjoy doing. But I really don't care what that is. Um, like I said, if they're a boy, as long as they can provide for their family, um, I think that's important. But as far as what that is, um, I guess as long as it's not legal. <laughs> but anyways. Um, number 17, what is one show your child, children love, but you secretly hate? We are not there yet, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. Number 18, cloth diapers, yay or nay? Yes, we use them for daytime and nighttime. I love them. I may be addicted. Uh, I am addicted. They're fantastic. They're great. They're cute. They're comfy. I just love them. Um, number 19, finish this sentence. You know you're a mom when you... Oh. Um, you know you're a mom when you find yourself talking to your baby and discussing things in the store as to whether or not he would like to wear them. But he cannot talk to you. Oh, and when he responds with a cry or a loud noise, you decide no and you put them back on the shelf. I've so done that. It's so fun though. Okay, number 20, have you done the first mommy tag? I just did it. So, <laughs> The baby just woke up, so I tag anyone that wants to do this um, that hasn't already. And if you have done it, I would love to watch it, so let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.